Daniel Kickert, singled out as the instigator of the Philippines-Australia brawl, shed more light on the incident with the Australian media when the boomers arrived. Hill as Pilipinas got agitated after Kickert threw an elbow to the face of Roger Pogoy, sending him to the floor. Prior to that, the TNT player had committed an offensive foul on Chris Goldling. It was a regrettable situation, described Kickert. I was in a position where, obviously, made an action which is regrettable and unfortunate. It's not good to put a stain on your thinking. It was a good trip for the boys and would have been a good win, ended with a controversial issue, obviously. Kickert knows that his actions will be penalized by FIBO and said that he is ready to face the sanctions on the unfortunate event. I stepped a little bit with my response to the escalation in the game and I regret those things. I'm gonna let FIBA do everything they need to do to take the time and go through the process, he said. Limiting his comments, Kickert prefers not to say anything further about Heal as Pilipinas, opting to let FIBA put their foot on the situation. I am not going to comment too much on the Philippines team or any other things. I am going to step back and let FIBA do what they want to do. The Boomers head coach, Andridge Lemonis admits that Kickert's move was an overreaction. He saw someone hit one of his teammates and he took a response that he admitted right there, perhaps that was over the line in terms of the impact of the response, said Lemonis but in terms of looking after his teammate, it's something he always going to do. Another figure in the brawl is Chris Goulding who was on the other end of Pogoy's offensive foul. He refuses to speak up on the situation for now and wait until he is mentally prepared. I'm just going to get home and try to rest up. It's been an interesting 48 hours, said Goulding. My main priority is to get home, spend some time with family and I will speak to everyone at a more appropriate time.